Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Legacy. I'm not gonna lie. After the last update, I made some terrible purchasing decisions. So, I restarted once again, but it's alright. Here we are now. <laughs> I'm gonna pick a Hokage. A Hokage is just a shinobi that's been upgraded. Our upgrade path looks a bit different this time. Honestly, I had <laughs> I've gotten a little bit tired of restarting, so I just did not care too much this time, and I just upgraded and pretty much didn't care unless I got a Hokage, so been running around super fast. Also got some interesting runes. Got some speed runes. I just beat the last boss, so... Alright, check out how fast I am now. Oh my gosh. I don't even need the dash, almost. But I'll still hang on to it, just in case. So let's go ahead and spend whatever money I just got. Thinking about buying this armor. We, we unlocked the armor upgrades from the upgrade shinobi path that we got from upgrading the haggle one point. Uh... I think I'll upgrade my health, actually. Put one into this. And... Look for a good gold value. Crit damage up won't help me, but I'll just go ahead and get it. So we're sitting at level 91. Should be able to beat the boss. <laughs> I think... When I say I made some hor horrible purchasing decisions last time, I mean that I tried to fight the boss and I, I could not beat him at all. It wasn't even close. <laughs> After I spent all my money very unwisely, so... Go ahead and give it a try right here. You like this... You like this color coordination here? I got this red sword with like this cyan armor and this mustard yellow cape and this green hair accompanied with the pink bow. We already read all this. I'll just go ahead and do it to unlock this little cutscene right here again. And here we go. Alright. So here you are versus Johan. I guess is how you're supposed to pronounce it. Alright. Oh, that's a great start. Oh my goodness. Hey. Oh. oh goodness. I've decided that the hit and run technique is and just going for one hit at a time is probably about as good as you're going to get. If you try to go for any more than that, then he can really just come up and take a swing at you, and it's just not fair. It's OP. Well, I hadn't really thought so, because you have lived for over a thousand years, I guess. So yeah, I touched on it in the last video, but... Yeah, I guess all of these guys throughout history are people that have searched for the Fountain of Youth. I guess. I don't know. Oh, there goes the fountain. And he is literally the fountain, I guess. Okay. Haven't actually fought in this second form yet. Not sure... I don't remember the patterns too well, but let's see if we can figure it out on the fly here. Okay. No, oh, no, that did not work too well. What? What even hit me right there? <sighs> well, alright. I think we at least got the first part down. Dang, they gave me some really garbage classes for this second attempt, too. <sighs> alright. 
guess we'll use the knave. This colorblind knave. I really don't like colorblind with this sword, because you can like hardly see it. <laughs> this dark red sword. Might as well be invisible. Don't have too many high hopes for this run with this character. Oh my gosh, see? When he comes up to just attack you, it's so broken. But, getting him. Do not adjust your monitors. This is correct. Ugh. I think the the haste runes I have on actually help me out quite a bit in this fight. Oh please! Oh man! This guy's level ninety six, so I still am a lower level than the boss. Oh nice! All right. <sighs> Beat the first form. is nice enough to spit out a lot of chicken legs. It'd be interesting to see what the Electra for ya. Eh, probably does nothing. Man, I'm almost dead though. I think maybe the best thing to do on this attack is to stay on the ground. Well, that was a little greedy. Do not have high hopes for that class. Come on, please. Oh my god. Freaking names. God, what a worthless class until you get stats. I think I'm going to try this one. Maybe I'll try to use the quantum translocator in some interesting ways. It might work out. The Quantum Translocator seems to be a spell that only the Knave gets. I don't even know if I've used it in this entire LP, but... <laughs> Maybe it'll be useful. Oh god. Dang it. Oops. Really failing here. I'm not gonna lie, my heart is not in this run necessarily. I really want a shinobi. God. A shinobi or even a paladin would be fine. Ugh, they keep giving me okay, paladin. Nice, let's go. I think a paladin might be the right mix of stats for what I need. The Paladin also has a shield attack, which I haven't shown off. That's what you get for upgrading the Paladin. You basically ha are forced to stand still. Or you can jump, kind of like the Heavy in Team Fortress 2, and use your shield like that. But it does block damage, and it basically it costs mana to block attacks. Maybe I'll be able to use that creatively in this fight. Oops. I really need to stop getting hit by those axes. It's not hard. Oh my god, he turned around on me. Huh. I am stereo blind, so. Doesn't make too much of a difference, but. Not even sure it makes a difference at all, but that is why. Dang it. I didn't even need to do that. Please. Stop it. Oh, God. Oh, at least I dodged. Dang it. Oh, please, get me out of the corner. Getting bodied by this guy. Alright. Ugh. Ugh. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> Having higher health does mean that I will get more health back from chicken legs, so... That's pretty good. That's one thing. All right, Johan the Fountain. 
please. Give me more. Give me more chicken legs. Alright, so what if I just use my shield here? Oh, I turned into a, a freaking tanuki for some reason. Not sure how that works. Wasn't looking to do that. Oh, please. God dang it. Man. Oh my god. Alright, I think this is the class that will do it. The giant Hokage is a beast. He never loses, or she. <laughs> really good to get a nice <laughs> feel for this color scheme with this giant character. I love the giant Hokage. It's so fun. <laughs> it's so big. Man, I don't, even, I don't even need to be using this vampire sword. I don't know why I am. I guess just because I've had it equipped. See, I can outrange him. So he can't hit me. I've got you now, Johan. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Please. All right. So that went pretty well. I think I'll heal up pretty nicely off these chicken legs. All right, I'm so done with this story by this point. All right. All right, let's go, Fountain. Got some pretty decent damage on him. Oh god, I ate a retarded hit. There we go. Okay, this is an easy one to dodge. Ooh, easy. Man, it's so easy with the giant shinobi. If you just got giant shinobis every every time, this game would be a cakewalk. Oh man. There we go. So we're getting the last bit of storyline here. What justice has been met? I don't even know. Such is the cost for unquestioned loyalty. Is that the message of this game? Is that the moral? How do you like that ending screen? It's kind of deep, right? I don't know, not really. <laughs> it's pretty interesting, though. It's a definitely an interesting way to end the game. The sun, I had forgotten how it feels. I guess being cooped up in this castle. Where it's never even morning time in the forest. It's always night time in the forest for some reason. So this is the end game screen a little disappointed it took me that many tries to beat the boss but really it does matter a lot about what you roll as far as classes go especially because I mean the way you pump up your upgrades in this game is like you're either gonna go for it all around upgrades for just like everyone for any scenario or you're going to like go for one exact class and for this run I definitely pumped up exactly what I wanted for Shinobi and Paladin basically but that doesn't matter anymore because now we're going to New Game Plus after this credits run right here and New Game Plus is a whole different beast it's much more interesting than the regular game, in my opinion. And then New Game Plus Plus is also pretty interesting. And then New Game Plus 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 and Beyond is just complete BS, but we'll see how far we get before I get completely pissed off at this game. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I ever actually fought any of those Piranha Plant guys on screen, those black ones, but those are probably the hardest enemy in the game in the room they spawn in. Maybe we'll find some in New Game Plus Plus Plus. You might notice that there's some enemies that it says we've slain zero. And the reason for that is because those enemies don't even show up until New Game Plus. 
So if you see some of these enemies that have zero, well, the blue Basaurus Rex does show up in this version, but I guess I never got around to killing one in this run. I think we've killed one in the LP, though. <laughs> Nightmare. I get it. The Wargan Florian. Man, those show up in this... I don't know if I ever actually showed one of those off in the game. Maybe we'll see one in New Game Plus. We slain one Johan and one the Fountain. Interesting. So, you might notice in these credits, it seems like the Lee family had a lot to do with the making of this game. You also probably didn't notice, but I have, because I've restarted this game so many times. <laughs> the first character you always get at the beginning of the game, after like the prologue, is always named Sir Lee. So I guess that's just a little easter egg they threw in for themselves. There's probably a few more of these names that are named for, or have champions named for them, but I didn't really pay attention to anything other than the Surly. And this is actually the part of the game where I was saying that maybe being gay has a different ending, because if you're gay, it wouldn't look like this, right? <laughs> it would be like two girls, right? <laughs> so that's why I'm curious about beating the game with a gay character, to see if they paid attention to that little detail. So I just, I guess I, as far as this run that I did off screen, took me four hours and 36 minutes to beat it. I remember the first time I beat this game, I think it took like 13 hours or something ridiculous like that. Man, it kind of feels bad. <laughs> it shouldn't take that long, but I guess when it's the first time playing the game, it might. But alright, here we are, a new game plus. Definitely we'll go ahead and put a character in right here. And we actually start with our old character. He does not die. This is the one time your character does not have to die. But of course, I mean, he has to die now, because it's new game Plus, all you can do, really, is go back in the castle. So, I guess we'll go ahead and get him some stats. Her some stats. And let's see what all's different in this castle. Could I have upgraded anything else? I'm 90% sure I couldn't have. Yep. Look how fast I run. It's just barely slower than the than the dash with with these double taste runes plus my Hokage passive which is a passive 30% speed so it hasn't been too different yet but here now it's different basically now enemies that we would see in the fiery depths now spawn in the cast in the first castle area. I think I might actually be able to do this fairy chest with all this speed, maybe. Probably not. No! I don't know how the hell they expect you to do Oh, now I get it. Man! Oh my god, I can't believe I just figured it out. I'm the right class for it too. Here, this is how I think you're supposed to do it. Yep. Just like that. That's how you're supposed to do it. Wow. I just figured that out. <laughs> Alright. Well, good show, game. I can't believe I never thought of that before, to be honest. So the actual layouts of the castle don't change, really. As far as, like, room layouts go. As far as I know. But you might notice that I am getting significantly more money now. You actually get... I guess it's plus, plus 5 gold for everything you kill. Or for every coin you pick up. Or plus 50 for every money sack.
which is nice. Because the upgrades do start costing a whole lot more. I don't think that's just... I don't think that's a side effect of New Game Plus. I think that's just the way it is. Probably a way to keep people from getting too powerful in the first run. Some way of keeping some semblance of challenge in the game. And there's an attack we probably haven't seen those knights use yet. The dash attack that they have. Oops. Oh my gosh, I don't even need to be down here. There's nothing here. Alright, let's keep going. And it looks like I found some place I probably don't want to necessarily be yet. I think we'll just go ahead and go back to the beginning of the castle. If the first area of the castle has the enemies from the <laughs> from the fiery depths. Just imagine what the Maya has up there in store. Alright, now here's actually an interesting room. I've only come across this kind of room one time in my... or two times. Now this is the third time. And the funny thing about this room is every single room in this game, part of the beauty of it is that you can feasibly beat it with no upgrades and not get hit. Except for this room, you have got to have the double jump if you want to get out of this room. And here's why. When you, when you, when you up attack this stupid thing right here, you go to the next screen and... Huh, it actually, I actually somehow landed on it that one time. Alright, well, I guess I'll take it back then. But it's really hard to do, and you'll probably just get fed up with it the first time you come across that room if you have no double jump upgrade. <laughs> Dang. I was waiting to just hand it to that room the entire game. <laughs> oh my god. So, I died. Wasn't actually paying attention to what level these guys are. Let's go ahead and put another character in. This is a Barbarian, so... Huh. Did I get new armor? Oh, I guess I found a new helmet. Probably should have bought that. Getting to the point where if I find new equipment, it's definitely worth it to invest in the new equipment. Especially since now that we're on New Game Plus, we will be finding probably a lot of new equipment, to be honest. So I was completely demolishing those enemies, but that's because I was a shinobi and that's what they do. So it looks like these starting enemies are sitting at about level 82. For what it's worth, when you start a new game fresh, the very first enemies you come across are level 2, so that's how that works. Hey, shoutouts to Golbees for pointing out that these are actually two different statues. I had never noticed that before for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, this statue is a Charon statue, and it's that's the one that you pray for assistance for. And the one that automatically refills your HP is a fountain-looking statue. I can't believe I never noticed that until he pointed that out. My goodness. What's wrong with me? Also, I came up with a new pro strat for dealing with these guys. Especially useful for when I'm the barbarian like I am. And I don't, and it takes me a million hits to kill these guys. Basically, I get one down really low, and then I come over here and I kill the other one. Because the uh, health won't reset on the other guy. Not sure if it's worth it, to be honest, because it's still getting thrown at from both directions, but... <laughs> Man, I remember the, in the very first update, I beat those guys without getting hit once. <laughs> Man, what a... how good was I at this game? <laughs> so yeah, not only... oh, please. 
you know the game is getting rough when even these knights that were so brain dead easy in the first run can really pose a threat if you're not careful. But I would say that the game's still fair at this point. It's only New Game Plus. And there's still plenty of upgrades to buy. <laughs> Once we run out of upgrades to buy, then the game will start seeming very unfair. <laughs> That's when the that's when skill level really starts to shine and you need to have kind of a plan for how you want to deal with the castle once you run out of upgrades to buy. That shouldn't happen until new game plus 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 though, at the very least. So we should still be able to buy our way through the castle for now. Kinda hoping not to have too many problems with New Game Plus though, to be honest. I only have... the only uh, bonus class I've bought so far is the Shinobi, and I do plan on using my money to start upgrading all the other classes and... wow, I really died to that guy. I do plan to start using my money to upgrade and, and get like the Spell Sword and the Lich, which we haven't even seen yet. So I think this... I'll probably end the video right here. As you can see, it's pretty hard. The enemies do a lot of damage now. So I'll probably go ahead and put in a couple runs to not necessarily upgrade my attack or HP or anything, but to go ahead and get enough money to unlock the rest of the classes so that we don't have to keep looking at people that hit with swords all the time. There is one class I haven't shown up off yet called the Lich, and he's pretty interesting, and he's pretty good for this moment. So we'll go ahead and hopefully get, take a look at some more of some more spell swords, some more lich, or some lich in the next update, hopefully. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this update. I'll see you next time. Peace.